In the United States, we use a progressive tax system, which increases the tax rate that you pay as your income increases. This can make it difficult to determine how much of your income you're really paying in tax. So I'll show you how it works and how to calculate your effective tax rate coming up next. How much of your earned income do you really pay in federal income tax? Do you know the exact percentage? How much do you pay as a percentage compared to those who make a lot more than you? How about a lot less than you? Knowing how much of your income goes to taxes is as important to your financial well-being as knowing how much of your income goes to housing or food or how much of your income you're putting toward retirement. To calculate your effective federal income tax rate, you need an understanding of how income tax rates work. The United States, along with many other countries, uses a progressive income tax system. Progressive taxes increases the effective rate that is paid by a taxpayer as their income increases. In 2018, United States income taxes are made up of seven brackets, starting at 10% and growing all the way to 37% for high income earners. The bracket you fall in depends on your household income. For single earners making up to $9,525, you're only in a 10% tax bracket. But make up to $38,700 and you're in the 12% bracket. To make it all the way into the top 37% bracket, you need to have an annual income of over $500,000 per year. So what's your tax bracket if you're single and you make $50,000 a year? Looking at the chart, you would be in the 22% tax bracket. But that doesn't mean you pay 22% of everything you make in federal income taxes. Here's how it works. 22% of $50,000 in income is $11,000. But nobody pays that much. The $50,000 needs to be split into three separate calculations. So the first $9,525 in earnings is taxed at only 10%. That's $953. Everything between $9,526 and $38,700, or $29,175 of the $50,000 in earnings, is taxed at the next higher bracket of 12%. That equals to $3,501. Lastly, only the remaining balance over $38,700, or the highest $11,300 in earnings, is taxed at the maximum bracket of 22%. That equals $2,486. To calculate your total tax liability, you need to add all three numbers up, equaling $6,940 in tax. That's a lot less than $11,000. To calculate your effective tax rate, divide that by $50,000, and you can see your tax rate is 13.9%. That's progressive taxes. Yes, you're in the 22% tax bracket, but you don't pay that on all of your earnings. Let's now do the math for a single person making $600,000 in income. Their income spreads out through all the brackets up to the maximum 37%. Their total tax liability is $187,690. Divided by 600,000 in income gives them an effective federal tax liability of 31.3%. Not quite 37%, but still considerably higher than your average income earner. Okay, that's how progressive taxes work. But the reality of the US tax code is you don't pay taxes on all of your earnings. When you commit your money to or spend money on any of the following, you reduce your taxable income through deductions. These include contributions to retirement plans, medical or dental expenses, make payments toward a mortgage, contribute to charities, incur job-related expenses that are not reimbursed by your boss. And you can also deduct against your federal taxes, any taxes paid to a state or local government. There is also a standard deduction of $12,000. Excluding retirement plans, even if your deductions don't amount to much, you'll always get that $12,000. If the total of all of your non-retirement plan deductions exceeds $12,000, then you get the larger number. So let's go back to that $50,000 single taxpayer example. If you put $5,000 of your earnings into retirement, and you take the standard deduction of $12,000, your taxable income is reduced to only $33,000, which drops you down into the 12% bracket. 
your tax was $6,940, or 13.9%. But after deductions, your tax is now only $3,770, or 7.5% of your total earnings. Please subscribe to my channel below. I'll be uploading new weekly videos covering financial planning and taxes. You can also visit smartzonefinance.com for articles on taxes, investing, insurance, and general financial planning.